Ok, hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve this interesting exponential problem, so we have 2 to the power n minus 2 to the n equal to 4080. So as you can see there is no like all m or all n, we have different variables m and n, and we need to find this, and one equation of course. So how can we solve it? One part of students solve this with log, and I hope you, you don't do this, because this is hard, solving with logarithm. And I'm going to show you a really interesting approach, how can we do this. But first of all, we have 2 to the m and 2 to the n, we have subtraction, and we have positive number on the right hand side. It tells us really interesting moment that m is greater than n. So I hope this is obvious for you, because this number is bigger, is larger than this one, because we have positive number on the right hand side. This is our first step. Because if you have, for example, 2 to the 4th minus 2 cube, yeah, it will be equal to 16 minus 8 equal to 8, so positive 1, yeah? And if we have 2 to the power 3 minus 2 to the power 4, this is equal to 8 minus 16, which is equal to minus 8, so negative 1. So as you can see, the first number is bigger, this is our positive number, so this is our this case, so m is greater than n. This is our first step, and I hope you, I hope you understand this. What are we going to do next? I suggest you to do one really interesting moment. Let's factor from this question 2 to the power n. If we factor from here this, so 2 to the power n, and in parentheses, we factor from here 2 to the power n, so we need to subtract right here 2 to the power m minus n, yeah? And minus 1 equal to 4080, okay? This is our first, first step to this problem. Okay, what we're we going to do next? Let's let's write a substitution because m minus n this is like not good for us. Let's work with substitution. So two to the power n this is our this number expre expression. Two to the power let's go with for example t. Two to the power t minus one. So this is our substitution. So four thousand and eighty. So this is our substitution right here. This is our t. And this is our same element, so this is our t. Okay, what are we going to do next? Right here, take a look. We have 2 to the power n, which is even number, yeah? 2 to the power t is even number, but if we subtract from this 2 to the power t, if we subtract 1, we will have odd number, yeah? So this is our odd number, odd. And 4080, of course, this is our even number, even number. Okay, so we have a product of even number times odd number equal to even number. And let's try to factor, let's try to work with this 4080. How can we rewrite this if we're talking about a product, yeah? So if we divide this by 2, <coughs> we will have 2040. Okay, let's do it once more. 1020, okay, once more. 510, once more. 255, okay, this is odd number, which is really great because we can rewrite this 4080 as 255 times 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4. So times 2 to the fourth power. Okay, this is odd number right now. This is sorry, not odd number. This is, this is odd number. This is even number. And this is even number as well. And if you look closely, if you write it once more, so 2 to the power n, times 2 to the power t minus 1, and if we write this 4080 as 255 <coughs> times 2 to the fourth power, if we write this, we can easily see that we can connect this, 2 to the n and 2 to the fourth power we can connect, and 2 to the power t minus 1 and 255 we can connect as well, because this is, e if this is odd numbers, this is even numbers. And from here, if you look closely, 2 to the power n and 2 to the fourth. We can easily see that 2 to the fourth and 2 to the n are the same elements and n from here equal to equal to 4. And we still have this, we still have this expression with 2 to the t minus 1, so right here we will have the next, we will have 2 to the t <coughs> minus 1 equal to 255. We write it because we told, as I told before, this is odd number and 255 is an odd number because we express this 4080 as odd times even and right here even times odd doesn't matter, this is a product. Let's find t from here, okay, from here let's find t. 2 to the power t equal to 255 plus 1, so we'll have 250. 6, yeah? And this is a classic case because we can write it as 2 to the power t equal to 2 to the 8, yeah? 2 to the 4, so like 16, then 32, 46, 64, and 256, so t equal to 8, okay? 
t equal to 8. But what about a solution? Because this is t equal to 8, but we had a substitution t equal to m minus n. So t equal to m minus n, but we know that n equal to 4. So from here, our 8 equal to m minus 4. Let's find our m. m equal to 12, I guess, yeah? 12, 12 minus 4 equal to 8, yeah? This is our solution. So I write an answer and we will check it real quick. So our answer m equal to 12 and n equal to 4. As I told before, m is greater than n as, as we have right here. So 12 and 4. Let's check it real quick. So check. Let's check it. So 2 to the power 2 to the power 12 minus 2 to the power 4 equal to 4080. Let's check it real quick. We all know that 2 to the 4 is equal to 16, so minus 16 equal to 4080. But what about this, 2 to the 12? So let's do this. We know that 2 to the 10 equal to 1024. Okay, 2 to the 11 multiplied by 2, it will be 2048. And 2 to the 12th power, once more by 2, 4096. Okay, let's plug in 4096. Minus 16, yeah, this is the correct answer to this to this problem. Of course, maybe a lot of students can solve it by inspection because this is not like a huge number and this is like table case. A lot of students know it maybe from school, maybe 2 to the 10th power all students should know because this is 1024. And then by inspection right here, multiplying by 2, multiplying by 2, and you get closer and closer to this 4080. But math is not about inspection. You should solve it step by step. You cannot like uh, write it in one or two lanes like m equal to m equal to 12 and n equal to 4 yeah you cannot do this like that so you you should you should solve it step by step and this is maybe the best uh, solution to this problem because log is a lot of a lot complicated right here a lot of students try to solve it by log they say okay 2 to the m and they know okay this is our power let's solve it but this is maybe the best solution as for me, step by step, we can easily solve it and correctly and of course really great step by step explanation, yeah? I hope you understand this explanation. If you, if you got wrong, definitely don't feel bad if you solve it wrong. If you want to learn basic math, interesting brain test, you can easily subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. If it's not hard to you, leave a like below the video. If you, if you of course, enjoy this video, if you don't understand, uh, leave dislike. I really appreciate it as well. If you um, send your feedback about my videos and write your comments about this solution, write your comments about um, what you need to, to see, what you want to see on my channel. I will help everyone and try to make content every day. Thank you so much for watching, see you in the next videos, have a great day and take care of yourself. See ya!